Hi everybody, this is Tyler Foster here. Let's talk about the Malampati scoring system. Now what the Malampati scoring system is, is it's a preoperative assessment of a patient and the anesthesiologist can use it to predict the level of difficulty of intubating the patient. Now, to do a Malampati scoring, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the patient sit up in bed, open their mouth, kind of tilt their head back a little like they're looking at the ceiling, and then stick out their tongue. Now, there's also an additional step that some physicians do recommend, some don't. I've always been trained not to. You can have the patient phonate or say, ah. Now, when the patient uh, is doing phonation, it's gonna raise the oropharynx. Um, you know, it has pluses and minuses to it. I've been taught that the patient's gonna be asleep. They're not gonna be able to raise their oropharynx by saying, ah, uh, when they're asleep. So why even use it to look? Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the patient sit up, kind of tilt their head back, open up their mouth as wide as they can and protrude the tongue. Now, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be covering the modified scoring system. The classic scoring system only had three classes. However, we're gonna take a look at four classes. Now, what are the four classes? Well, we have class one. This is where you can see the soft palate, kind of at the back of the throat. You can also see the entire uvula. So you can see the entire thing that's kind of the little stalactite or stalagmite, I'm not sure which one it is, the little uh, uvula that's sticking down in the back of the throat. You can also see the pillars. So both the palatoglossal and the palatopharyngeal uh, pillars. You can also see the fauces. Now, what those are is it's the passageway from the mouth to the pharynx, which is defined by the soft palate superiorly, the tongue inferiorly, and the palatine arches laterally. So what the fauces is is the passageway from the mouth to the back of the mouth or the pharynx. Now class two um, is gonna be a little bit more limited. So class one is gonna be the normal healthy patient. You can see uh, pretty much all the entire structures of the mouth. Um, so class two, we're gonna have a little bit restricted view. So you can still see the soft palate. You can see most of the uvula. You can't see the entire thing. Remember the uvula kind of sticks down like this. Um, let's say the tongue kind of obscures just part of it. So this would be seeing most of it while this would be seeing all of it. Okay, so class two, you can see most of it. You can also see the fauces. Um, so you have no pillars. Um, you may have an obstructed pillar um, in there. Class three, you have the soft palate as well. Remember the soft palate's at the back of the throat. And then this one, you can only see the base of the uvula. Now I say the base of the uvula because let's say the tongue is in the, in the way, covering up most of the uvula. This is considered the base of the uvula, kind of the where the stalk meets the soft palate. And then lastly, for class four, you can only see the hard palate. There is no uvula showing, so the tongue is going to obstruct all of the uvula. There's not gonna be a very big opening. You can only see the hard palate. The hard palate is going to be in the anterior portion of the mouth. Now, Kind of a couple generalizations that we can draw. Um, let's get a different color here. Now class one and class two can be lumped together. Um, these are gonna be associated with a higher likelihood of ease of intubation. It's gonna be easier to intubate patients with a class one and a class two Malampati score. I say that with a grain of salt because there's been plenty of patients that I've tried to intubate with a class one or a class two, most, most of the time class two, where I've had a more difficult time than average um, with intubation. So it's a general guideline. Class one and class two is associated usually with a higher likelihood of an easy intubation, while class three and four are more associated with a difficult intubation. So let's take a look um, at an example here. 
Now, I have four mouths that we're gonna be looking at. Let me just get my pen ready. So we have four mouths. Um, here's our example of a class one Malampati score. So this is gonna be a one. What we have is we're gonna have our soft palette, which is visible in the back. We have most, uh, we have the entirety of the uvula. So you can see the base and the tip of the uvula. You're gonna be able to see your pillars. So your pillars are gonna be right in here and right in here. That's the palatoglossal and the palatopharyngeal uh, pillars. Then you also have the fallacies, which is the passageway from the mouth to the pharynx. So remember we have our soft, pharynx, uh, soft palate superiorly, we have our pillars laterally, and we have our tongue inferiorly. And the pillar is really going to be your palatine arch. All right, so let's move on. So this is a Malampati class one easy intubation. Now we obstruct the uvula. You can see most of it still. Just the very tip of the uvula is obstructed by the tongue. Otherwise, we can see most of our other structures. Remember, um, I said that our fauces uh, can be a little bit obstructed. We have our pillars slightly obstructed. You can't see the pillars as well as a class one. So this would be a two. Class three, you can only see the base of the uvula. Um, a lot of the structures are gonna be obstructed. And then lastly, we can only see the hard palate. And the hard palate is going to be uh, this area right in here. We're not, we're very anterior in the mouth. We're right next to the uh, front teeth. And this is gonna be a class four. Here is going to be my references.